What's up guys, welcome back to another channel. It is your girl D-Wood here and I am here with COVID. <laughs> um, so I decided to do a little makeup video just to kind of get myself out of like the funky funk that I was in and decided to create this New Year's Eve look. If Omarion hasn't put his hands on you yet, um, you may actually be able to wear this out somewhere if it will match your outfit. Um, even if it's not, you can rock it with all black and still be that girl, silver accessories, and you know, that's how I'm coming to y'all right now. <laughs> um, but anyway, this video is going to be very, very chaotic. You a bookie for me. I'm in that wind, man, purple land. Damn, bitch, you been a fan. But I guess you're in for a treat. Of course, before we get into the video, go ahead and subscribe. And I'm talking too much already, so let's just jump right into this. I don't even know if this is a tutorial because it was I was in shambles, but let's get into it, y'all. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm here. It is D Wood back again with another video. Things may look a little different in the background. Um, if you see some mess in the background, if you hear the fan in the background, do not mind it. I got COVID and right now I'm hot. <laughs> I've been having like um, heat flashes, I guess you could call it. So please disregard my fan. I just refuse to turn it off because it is way too hot. So I decided I'm gonna do some makeup instead of sitting in this house, um, feeling sorry for myself. And yeah, I'm about to get glam and bring y'all along for the ride. I don't have a mirror because my mom has it and clearly we're quarantining so I don't I can't go get my mirror <laughs> so I'm gonna have to just use a palette this video is gonna be like hella random and probably very chaotic <laughs> I just want to feel better I want to not feel better but like feel uplifted I guess you can say um, because I actually do not feel bad at all if anything I feel annoyed to be completely honest all right so for moisturizer I have to use the the what is that called y'all the screen from the camera as a mirror because I don't have a mirror I have a little palette but I like to see the big picture but I've been obsessed with this Laneige water bank moisture cream I got it as, you know, um, the Sephora birthday gifts when your birthday month rolls around. That's when I got this, like early December, and I've been so obsessed with it. It's like perfect for winter. So I don't really have a specific look in mind. I'm just fiending to be pretty because my nails are so pretty, my hair is pretty, like I just wanna be that girl. <laughs> so here we are, all alone in this room. Alrighty y'all, so Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, all of that wrapped up into one. How are y'all doing? Um, I know COVID is out here strong. I cannot believe it. I literally have, I don't get sick. I cannot tell you the last time I was sick. So for me to have COVID is very shocking to me. And yeah, I'm just trying not to feel bad for myself and sad that I have this. All right, so let's get into the makeup because I'm just rambling already, child. Why do I feel like I'm rushing? Like, slow down. Slow it down. Okay, so I saw another YouTuber. Her name is Ashley Dior. She um, did this really cool eyebrow trick and I wanna try it. I just did my eyebrows, so I think it will come out good. She does her brows really nice. I really do like her brows. They're like bold but natural at the same time. And I like that look. So I'm gonna try to use her technique and I've done this Sorta, of, kinda. I haven't done this full technique before, um, but I've done something similar plenty of times and even on clients. I'm trying to find a good concealer shade to use. Mm, I guess I'll do this one. 
All right, so she takes her concealer. This might be, this might be too, I don't know, but let's try. <laughs> All right, and then she took her sponge and just really worked it into her brow. I think hers is okay okay i can work with that but you know what i may not be able to do it because i don't have a pomade and that's what she uses pomade and i don't have that now after she did that actually let me try something different because i don't have a pomade and i really want my brow to be like hers like hers was really nice i'm trying to find okay here we go an angled um liner brush and now i need to find a shade that is dark enough to show up on my skin tone and that's what i'm gonna use to shape my brow let me zoom y'all in some so y'all can see better oh wow quite dark Okay, I don't know. Oh God, that's very dark. This is interesting. Y'all, just bear with me. She did carve the top and the bottom portion of her brow. Now I have to do the bottom. This is a process, like, wow. I'm not really sure this is gonna come out right. Like legit, but we will see. She made it look so easy. Okay. Now I need to blend this out. So I'm taking the same brush that I used to carve it out. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of my concealer with my foundation. And I'm gonna draw like hairlines in the brow. Let's see. Uh oh, kind of messing up a little. Okay, I can see how this would work. But I definitely think this is just her thing because it's not coming out the same way. <laughs> okay, so I mean, it's not bad. Hers definitely looks better. And I honestly feel like I could have gotten this same result doing a different method. So yeah, I'm gonna do this other brow and then come back and do the rest of the face. <laughs> We're gonna see how this unfolds.
Alrighty, so I decided to do something sort of kind of festive for New Year's Eve. If Miss Rona, Mr. Omarion has not captured you yet, then this may be a look that you are actually able to wear outside. <laughs> I'm just gonna go right in with Fondacion. Again, y'all, if y'all hear the fan, please disregard it. It's just, I'm, I get hot, like, I mean, and it's always hot in my room, but excessively hot. My body is just hot these past couple of days. I don't know where that scar came from right there, if y'all just saw that. All right, so I'm adding my foundation with this little brush, and I literally have not cleaned my brushes since my last video where Terrell did my makeup. So my stuff is like mm, not really clean. So we are gonna see if I'm able to still get a flawless finish <laughs> with these dirty brushes. So if y'all have plans for New Year's Eve, please leave them down below. And for anybody that has virtual plans, please let me know down below. For my birthday, I did a virtual um, birthday party because obviously I wasn't able to leave the house. So um, <laughs> I had to cancel all of my birthday festivities and we did a Google Meet party. And it was actually fun. And ever since then, actually, everybody has been, like, willing to get on and do, like, a movie night. So, we've been on Google Meet, like, three nights in a row, I think. Two or three nights in a row. Let me see. Two nights in a row. Today will be the third night because we're doing it again tonight. Awesome! Now, I'm going to go ahead in with some concealer. And I'm using the 24-hour uh, MAC Studio Fix. Oh, the foundation that I used was Matte and Poreless in... 368 from Maybelline and then this is gonna be my concealer wait I forgot how bright this was I shouldn't have went in with this off rip this is I hope this blends out well it might not because it's so light and I need to hurry up and blend this out because it dries down really quick oh. So I didn't really have any like New Year's Eve plans, like for sure, for sure. Um, my best friend Nia's birthday, wow. I have a whole bunch of like little pimples. I think that was from when I dry shaved my face actually. Um, but anyway, yeah, my best friend Nia's birthday is, Chris not Christmas Eve, uh, New Year's Eve. So she was gonna have a celebration and I was gonna be working all day that day. But Omarion got me in his chokehold. So <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing any of those things. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay, that blended out nice. It, yeah, I can rock with this. I can rock with this. Okay, so y'all know like how you have different levels of glam. Like some days you wake up and you're like, ooh, today I want to be beat, beat, beat. And then someday you wake up and you're like, mm, they don't really deserve it today. I feel like I'm in between there. Like I want to be beat, but it's just no purpose, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm gonna do a little bronze tour, but honestly, it might still come out being hella beat anyway. So, I'm gonna see. I'm talking all this mess, but knowing me, especially like when I get to the lip, I might look at everything and be like, mm, it needs something more. <laughs> I have not done my makeup in so long. I don't know what colors are what, like, I'm looking for, this is what I was looking for, my Beauty Blender Concealer. Ooh, it's dry. What's happening? Why is my concealer dry? So if you are locked down 
what have y'all been doing to keep busy? Because Lord knows I'm losing my dog on mine. And not really that I'm not used to being in the house because being in the house is actually my favorite thing to do. To be completely real, I am a homebody and I love to be home. It's just that I can't even go outside the room like that. Like you get what I'm saying? Like I'm literally just stuck in the room and that's the part that's killing me. And luckily I washed all of my clothes and did every piece of laundry that I have, fresh sheets and everything on Christmas Eve, I believe it was. So I have all these clean clothes and my sheets are not fresh anymore now because I've coughed all over them. And <laughs> um, you know, but I'm so happy that I did that because I wouldn't have had like all my comfortable clothes that I love to wear. I wouldn't have had all my cozy stuff. Had I waited any longer, my blending is getting a little crazy right here. We just doing something different, y'all. Hold on. Well, this is not blended out well at all right here. Oh, you know why I keep feeling like this part of my brow looks really harsh? Because I just um used a razor. And that's why. Alright, so anyway, I'm using Maybelline. Once I use this powder one time, I literally have been hooked. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless 360 underneath my eye. That's looking good. Love that. It just makes everything so smooth. I want to do a little bit of baking. I'm going to use um Miss Rihanna. Rihanna Fenty in the color Hazelnut, I believe this is. This I used to use religiously until I discovered that Maybelline powder. And I'm gonna use a dry sponge. Um, I really wouldn't recommend using a dry sponge, but I'm doing it because I really don't feel like going to dampen it. So yeah. Going outside the room is really a hassle. Like I have to put a mask on. The bathroom is right across the hall, but I don't really feel like doing all that just to wet this sponge. Okay. So I'm not going to set my face. I'm gonna just go right in with bronzer and blush. Because I don't really wanna put too much powder because this moisturizer right here is so pretty. It, um, not that the moisturizer is pretty, but it makes your skin look really pretty. And I don't wanna like lose that plumpness that that moisturizer gives my skin. So I'm gonna just go right on in with bronzer. Let me close my powder before it all spills. That is something I so would do. So I don't wanna do too much. Which, for me to say that, is actually a crime. You don't want to do too much. What do you mean? Too much? Never too much bronzer. Oh, you know what it is? I don't like that sponge to bake. It's, it like really packed on the powder. Like for real, for real. My God. Look at this. What the heck? I need to know what's happening here. Yeah, I don't think I like that sponge because it packed on way too much powder. And then it's hard to, like, why does it look like that? You see this right here? Let me show y'all. Like, it's not smooth. Right here, you see? And same thing right here. That sponge is a no. You can kind of see it, but at this point, I'm just making it worse. Oh, well, actually, I think I should stop what the heck I'm doing and fix this, what I have going on. So, when in doubt, 
micro smooth it out all right so <laughs> i'm using micro smooth um powder from sephora to try to fix this because this is looking stupid i don't know what happened here and i wasn't even done with my blush like y'all know for me blush is a process but mm -mm. Okay. It's a little strong, but all right, at least it's not messed up how it was before. Everything that happened to me that was good. God did it. Oh, yes, he did it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have this lip gloss that I want to use. And I'm actually going to just go ahead and stick to my lip. Because sometimes I feel like... Um, when my makeup isn't coming out good if i put my lip on it helps me like fix anything that i feel like is not coming out right so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the lip my mom um got this gloss for me i'm gonna show it to y'all it was in my stocking as a stocking stuffer and um yeah i'm really so surprised that my mom even because my mom really is not a makeup buyer so the fact that she was even able to pick out a color that I actually like and that I would actually wear, kudos to mom. How did makeup get on this? Okay, where's the lip gloss at now? So this is a gloss, it's called Glossed from Sephora and the color is in Brave. And first, before we do anything, dog it, I dropped it. I need to sharpen my pencils. Now I did try that gloss and it's not really opaque. So I know it'll look good. I'm just lining my lip. These Morphe liners are so smooth. <clears throat> okay, and then that out then I'm gonna do black cocoa from pixie this is a new favorite well a more recent favorite and as you can see it literally deepens what kind of face is this but it deepens your liner so when I want to over line and really make it nasty this is what I choose. Yep. Gorge. Gorge. Now, like I said, I know I'm gonna have to put a lipstick underneath this because it's a sheer gloss. Honey Love from MAC because I kind of want the gloss to show through. I think I used this in another recent video of mine. And then I'll go over top with the gloss. 
Ooh. It's actually a pretty combo. Mm-hmm. That's cute. Y'all know I always have to restart my lip combo. But that's cute. I have to show my mom because she bought it for me. So I want her to, um. Wow. That lip gloss is actually nice. I like that. All right, so let's do something underneath. And then um, we should be finishing up. What y'all think I should do? Should I do the purple or should I do brown? I think I'm gonna start with brown. And then. If it needs something more can do that I wish I had some purple liner see now the look is starting to come together mm, I'm excited um okay so actually what I'm gonna do is go off camera finish my look put on my outfit and then come back cool with y'all all right I'm gonna see y'all when my outfit is on Alrighty, guys thank y'all so so much for tuning in to another video um, I know this one was kind of hectic. By the way, I really, really love this lip gloss. And I think I'm going to go get some more colors. Because it's sitting really nice on my lips also. Like, it's wearable. It's not too sticky. Um, but it's also very shiny. And I'm feeling it. So, yes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. I definitely had to push through this video with this whole COVID thing. Like, I'm hot. I'm cold. It's, it's a lot. Um... <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that is all I have for you guys today. Thank y'all so much. Before you head out, don't forget to comment, thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Um, and I will see y'all in the next video.